Davey, how do you feel as a, a, a Bayern man at heart? <laughs> um, well, I think the fans will be pretty deflated. Everybody uh, was talking the chances up. They lost the last uh, five games against them. I think they lost last year in the, in the semi-final and uh, they, they were looking, I don't want to say revenge, but people were saying, oh, we've got a better team than last year, a better team than five, which I never believed. Um, I think it was... The manager talked about it, Jupp Heynckes. He's very, a very humble man and, and he said this team is better than five years ago and I think it showed a, a, a bit of a doubt in his mind because if they were, he wouldn't have said it. And yeah. as I touched on before, the, 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 the two wingers are five years older than they were. They were probably in, in their prime uh, when they won the Champions League at Wembley in 2013. Uh, it's an aging team. And I think from a from a Bayern Munich point of view tonight, I think it's a it's a sad and a bad day because they still got a chance to to go through. I don't think they will, but I think what it what it shows it that this club has a huge task ahead of them. Uh, Eamon was talking about the best players going to Madrid. They haven't done the last few years, as as, as Damien uh, rightly said. They haven't really bought any top class players. They went to Manchester City. They went to Manchester United. They go to Chelsea. Go to Paris. So these players didn't go to Madrid. Now, if Madrid can't attract them, it's even tougher for Bayern Munich. And we've seen today uh, Boateng and Robben coming off again. These players haven't played an awful lot of games this year. So next year, they'll be a year older. New contracts on the table for Robin Ribéry, which I think is a mistake. Uh, Rafinha has probably kept as well. And I think they've been blinded by their dominance in the Bundesliga, uh, by their uh, going through into the cup final. They probably win the double again. They go to the semi-final. Madrid wasn't in full flow today. I think Madrid was average at best. Mm. Uh, yes, Bayern Munich had chances, but in the end, I think they won it pretty comfortably. Um, and I think that shows where that Bayern Munich side is at the moment. And there's only one way this team is going to go, which is downwards. Um, uh, the, the, and, the, the, the new manager coming in, Kovac, who's managing currently Eintracht Frankfurt, he has... He's got a lot of work to do. And, and like, they, they need an awful lot of money to regenerate this team which well they'll start next season as favourites for the Bundesliga again like I don't know how do Bayern fans look at the league title they have won so many of them over the last number of years it's the Champions League that they want and okay they're in the semi-finals but perhaps they don't make the final 100% but if you offer them a semi-final and, and the, the league title and uh, a, a cup final against Frankfurt when Ancelotti was in charge six seven months ago they would have taken it all day long okay. because the team wasn't going anywhere uh, Hank has managed with his aura, with his, the respect that people got for him, his age, his, his, his experience. He got the best out of this team and I think he squeezed every drop out of them. But I think tonight they showed how good they are, or oh, this is as good, how they are coming to Kovac next year. I think this job is, is near enough impossible because I think you've got to replace five or six players. You've got them for another year. Robin Ribery won't be happy playing once, twice a month. They want to play every week. Uh, I don't think they've done the new coach a favour by, by offering these guys new contracts. And, uh, yeah, I think, you know, we've seen him in the semi-final now. I don't want to say we won't see Bayern Munich in the semi-final yeah. for the next three, four, five years. But I think it'll be a lot harder in the next few years than it was this year.